And at the fourth deregulation reform meeting at the nation's top office, President Bakana and her cabinet reviewed progress made in previous meetings and discussed further measures. Hwang Sung Yi has this report. President Park opened Friday's meeting by reiterating the importance of deregulatory reform. For the past two years, the government has been pushing for the easing of regulations to prop up the economy. The efforts were worthwhile. 39 new investments from East Regulations this year yielded 12,000 new jobs and an economic effect of 9.6 billion U.S. dollars. From this point on, the president said unnecessary business restrictions must not block the growth of new industries. 새로운 상품 개발과 시장 창출을 촉진하기 위해서 미리 관련 제도와 규범을 정비하는 선제적 규제 개혁에도 관심을 기울여야 하겠습니다. For one, the cabinet office said it will improve its authorization process, including the lifting of 36 unnecessary authorization guidelines. The move is expected to save $4.7 billion in costs and bring about a $7.5 billion increase in sales. And with a handful of deregulation bills sitting idle at the National Assembly, President Park called on the parliament to join in on the government's efforts. She asked lawmakers to consider the livelihoods of the people and swiftly pass the related bills. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.